millions of years ago, Saturn has an extra moon. Perhaps 400 kilometers across and formed almost entirely of ice. But this moon is doomed. It's orbiting just too close to resist the immense forces of Saturn's gravity. The rings probably formed from an object that got too close to Saturn. There's this invisible boundary around Saturn called the Roche limit. And that's the limit, depending on what you're made of, where Saturn's gravity is strong enough it will actually pull you apart. That the gravity on the side closer to Saturn is strong enough that compared to the gravity on the other side that will lit literally rip you apart. You don't have enough gravity of your own to stay together. A leading theory suggests that just beyond Saturn's atmosphere, an ice moon approaches close to or even just inside its Roche limit. As Saturn's immense gravitational force pulls it apart, the moon begins to rupture catastrophically. world ripped apart by its proximity to a giant. up to 17,000 trillion tons of ice breaks apart in orbit around Saturn. And thanks to the speeds this material is traveling, it's likely that in just a few days, it spreads out to encircle the great giant. Saturn's iconic ring is now in place. But as Cassini turns its instruments towards it, it sees a single ring transformed. The images we returned, they were phenomenal. They were resolution a factor of maybe 20 times better than anything we had had before. Cassini reveals how Saturn's giant rings have evolved. This debris now forms a disk wider than Jupiter. Yet on average, just 10 meters thick. Within, moon-sized chunks of ice orbit the structure, clearing great voids, turning one ring into many. But it's as Cassini captures images with the sun directly above the equator that the most surprising feature of the rings emerges. We knew this was going to be a time for us to investigate the third dimension, something that you don't get to see when you just look at a picture of Saturn's rings. And what we found was staggering. Just right out of the gate, we saw vertical structures. 
I just can't tell you how surprised we were to see this. It's just the spectacle of it was just unanticipated. I have just imagined flying along in a shuttlecraft across the ring, right, close to the ring. So to my perspective, it would be almost like it was an infinite sheet of gleaming debris. And I'm flying along and flying along and flying along, and suddenly I come upon a wall of rubble that's two miles high. I mean, is that cool or what? <laughs> really, I've, I've said over and over again, they should put that in a movie. This once tiny world of rock and ice that has seen the most dramatic transformations is today the solar system's greatest jewel. After more than a decade in orbit, Cassini has forever deepened our understanding of Saturn. But its mission is far from over. <laughs>